At this point, I would like to have you help me welcome your 2018 Austin Board of Realtor President, Steve Crory, the 2017 ABOR Foundation Chair, Valerie Doyle, the 2017 ABOR Foundation Chair-elect, Diane Kennedy, and 2017 Installation Chair, Susan Horton, to present each organization with a significant contribution raised by everyone here tonight. We do have a, a brief video for the first organization that we're gonna honor here tonight, so take a look. Hi, my name is Benita Martinez. I have four children. I am an owner, very proud owner of Habitat for Humanity House. My Habitat for Humanity House means to me, my life. When I went to apply at Habitat for Humanity, I never thought that I could qualify for a house. I didn't have uh, an education. I didn't even have a checking account. I worked and I managed my income with cash. I mean, I remember putting money in envelopes and just saving it for my next bill. The process of the Habitat application allowed me to see that I could be doing something. I want my children to grow up thinking that way. Now that they're grown up, they do. They have those choices, and that's one of the things that I got, stability and choice. Now I can say that I have an education, not only a BA in education, but also a master's in education. Thank you, Austin Habitat for Humanity, for all your assistance and help, and thank you for believing in me, and thank you for guiding me into this new path in my life. Thanks to the support of every single one of you in this room and many others in our association, we're pleased to present a check this evening to Carly Yancic and Aaron Landis representing the Austin Habitat for Humanity with a contribution of a wonderful check. Would you folks come forward please? We raised this money along with money we're giving to the other individual charities and it was a feat that everyone was involved in and we thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I wanna thank the Austin Board of Realtors, the, Austin, the Abor Foundation for their continued support and dedication to Austin Habitat for Humanity. Um, I really don't have to go into, uh, you know, what the cost of a single family home is uh, these days. It's been going up considerably over the last few years. I, I think everyone knows that. The support that we continue to get through ABOR and the ABOR Foundation is incredible. Being able to build a home for a family, a place where they can celebrate birthdays, where they can celebrate graduations, successes and failures, all within their first house and their family, is truly something that your support your commitment and the ABOR family's dedication makes happen. So on behalf of Austin Habitat, on behalf of the thousands of families that we help every year, the hundreds of people who are in homes, and all of the homeowners who you built a house for, thank you very much. People don't know what Meals and Wheels, come over to my house, I'll show you what Meals and Wheels can do. Oh, they've done so much. I have a ramp in my front yard, which helps me because I use my walker. And they've done my floors, I have wooden floors all through the house. The walker runs smoothly on wooden floors, you can hardly get it to move on carpet. A walk-in shower with handicap bars on it. Oh, wow, it's improved so much. He's my baby, my buddy, my friend, my companion. And it's just, I need him and he needs me. And that's, I need to be needed. And I get, I get food every month. And I got his heartworm medicine, his flea medication. I mean, that's wonderful because that's what he needs.
It opens up a whole new world. I'm not confined here, per se. You know, I can go in the computer and open up another state, another county, uh, places I've never been, you know, Disneyland, Water World or something, and it's right there on the computer, and you see it, you know, and that's great. And to see her and to see my grandson and see how he's growing and what they've done to their house that they got. And it's just a tremendous thing for me. It's just wow. I love to be independent. Maybe one day I will be, won't be, but right now because of Meals on Wheels, I am independent. Well, now we're pleased to print, present Mr. Adam Hauser representing Meals on Wheels Central Texas with a contribution of again $3,525 collected from you this, leading up to this evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for this very generous gift. Thank you to Austin Board of Realtors and the Austin Board of Realtors Foundation. I don't need to tell those of you in this room how important it is uh, the value of a home to a person and this very generous donation will enable Meals on Wheels Central Texas to continue to provide hot nutritious meals to the most vulnerable homebound older adults in our community and those meals will enable them to remain healthy and age with dignity in their own homes where they want to be and where it means so much to them. So thank you so much for this very generous gift and a special congratulations to your incoming board chair who has been a longtime volunteer for Meals on Wheels Central Texas. So congratulations, Steve. to present Jarrett Shade representing the Red Cross of Central Texas with a contribution of $3,525. Thank you all very much. What a year it has been for the American Red Cross. Um, with all the disasters happening, uh, we really appreciate everybody's continued support of the organization and um, it does allow us to stock supplies and be able to be ready anytime, anywhere to respond to these disasters. So thank you very much. Thank you to the Austin Habitat for Humanity, Meals on Wheels Central of Central Texas, and the Red Cross of Central Texas for all of the important work that you do for those in need across the region. We really appreciate you. There's an intrinsic desire within the heart of realtors to help the clients and communities they serve. This desire transcends into affiliate societies such as WCR, which is Women's Council of Realtors, CRS, Certified Residential Specialist, and the AYREP, Austin Young Real Estate Professionals, and many, many brokerage firms throughout the city of Austin. Their commitment translates into significant financial impact and sets us apart from other professional organizations and demonstrates a culture of caring and giving. With us this evening is the leadership team for the Austin Young Real Estate Professionals. JC, 
wherever you are out there, will you and your team please stand and be recognized? This group of young professionals gave more than just their time and their talents. They opened their pocketbooks and they raised almost $10,000, which will be donated to the Community First Village. Again, thank you everyone here this evening for your generosity. Philanthropy brings us together for a common goal and illustrates how we support our community beyond our everyday work. And I thank each and every one of you for your generosity. And I want to do one more thank you before I I'm, I'm leave the stage this evening. And will everyone that was on this installation committee please stand and be recognized? These folks worked tirelessly. They raised tons of money to help sponsor this event. They helped raise the money that we are giving to these charitable organizations. They gave their time, their efforts, and their commitment, and I personally am very grateful to every one of you. Thank you. Central Texas Realtors are more than just your trusted resource when buying or selling a home. We're dedicated to making our community a great place to live for all Central Texans. The Austin Board of Realtors Foundation supports local causes at the heart of our communities, including education, housing, and disaster relief. We're investing in future leaders by providing scholarships that help Central Texas students pursue higher education. We're combating housing affordability challenges, one home at a time, by building affordable homes for deserving families through Austin Habitat for Humanity. We're providing life-saving heat relief for our community's elderly and underserved through Family Elder Care's Summer Fan Drive. And when tragedy strikes, we mobilize the community around disaster relief efforts to bring help where it's needed most. You can help the Austin Board of Realtors Foundation in achieving our mission for a vibrant, prosperous community by making a donation at abor.com foundation. When we operate as one, we can have deep, lasting impact in our community. Donate to the Austin Board of Realtors Foundation today. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how's it going everybody? Hey, there, that is awesome. All right, this is very important because all this stuff we've been looking at beforehand is leading to this new foundation. So my name is Michael Da Silva. I have served as the 2015 chair of the ABOR Foundation. I uh, had the privilege of serving with uh, Steve during a crazy time in the foundation that has led to all of this greatness. So. It is my honor tonight to install the 2018 ABOR Foundation Board of Directors. So will the members of the 2018 ABOR Foundation Board of Directors please gather in front of the stage as I call your names. Albert Allen. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Bill Evans. Christina Isaac. Jenny Turney, Carrie Weikert, and our officers, Valerie Doyle, past chair, Stacy Bass, secretary treasurer, Teresa Brown, vice chair, she could not be here tonight and Ms. Diane Kennedy, our incoming chair of the 2018 ABOR Foundation. Now, will each of you raise your right hands? You know what, look at whoever you want to look at, okay? Wow, I want to look at you guys too, this is great. It's like we're just here, just us. Let's take a moment and enjoy this, okay. Raise your right hands. If you agree to each of the following statements, please say yes at the end of each one. Do you solemnly promise that you will administer the office to which you've been elected to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity with the bylaws of the Austin Board of Realtors Foundation? 
Yes, and guess what? That's all you got. So by virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I do hereby proclaim you duly and officially installed and inaugurated to the office to which you have been elected. My congratulations to each one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your new ABOR Foundation officers and directors for 2018. I do what I can. to tell you a little bit about the foundation. I kind of feel like I'm preaching to the choir, but I do want to thank the outgoing board uh, immensely and the incoming board even more. Um, we're going to have a, a great, great year. So just to give you a little bit of a quick overview, and I promise um, I, I'll try to make it quick. Um, you already know that community is the core value of the Austin Board of Realtors. Uh, so it shouldn't be any surprise that the foundation exists solely to connect its members to the community. I'm supposed to outline our goals for 2018, but I think it's hard to do that without telling you where we've been, where we are today. So you've already heard about our contributions to Meals on Wheels, the Habitat for Humanity, uh, and the Red Cross. But I think I need to expand on that a little bit. So. Just to elaborate on the Habitat for Humanity, we're in the middle of building our fifth house for Habitat for Humanity. It's a big deal. As a matter of fact, our outgoing chair, uh, Valerie Doyle, was there today painting all day for the Habitat. Thank you, Valerie. We partnered with both the Red Cross and Austin Disaster Relief for efforts during the storms. Uh, our partnership with Red Cross has been ongoing all year long. We're also making donations to both the Beaumont and the Puerto Rico Association of Realtors who suffered great loss during the storms. We've contributed to front steps and foundation communities to enable the homeless to transition into an independent lifestyle. Uh, this has been a very, very rewarding effort on, on both counts. We've also worked with Rebuilding Together Austin. This is a nonprofit that actually goes out and finds people who are at risk of losing their homes, either due to safety or health issues. Uh, just recently, we helped an elderly mother of a disabled, with a disabled daughter, who were at risk of losing any insurance on their home. So we actually brought their home up to the standards where they could get insurance. We. Thank you. We also partnered with SWBC Mortgage uh, and Amley Residential to raise over $7,500 for the Family Elder Care Fan Drive. That's almost 400 fans that we provided to that effort. We gave 17 seniors scholarships to go to Central Texas Colleges next year. We held two fundraisers, the Most Worthy Citizen and the Mercedes Raffle. So 
when I talk about a goal for 2018, the goal is to do even more. But we can't do it without you. The tireless volunteers who spend their time meeting all of the needs of our community rely on the donations that our members make to make those dreams come true. So in case you haven't heard it before, I'm going to say it one more time. Please don't uncheck the box. Your dues billings are out right now. There's a, an opportunity for you to give $10. Doesn't sound like much, does it? But we can stretch that $10 and we can grow that $10. It counts in countless ways. So thank you very much for your donations and look forward to telling you even more about what we did this year, next year. Thank you.